So I've decided, after 48 hours, is to do something I have not done yet, ever, have no experience in it. But I did a, quite a bit of thinking. And I feel that I would like to play with things like water-based alchemy wax and I, we might pay, play with embossing powder, maybe buffing buff it but what I definitely want to play with are the Lumis so I have my bead tool I usually pick up stones with this I was thinking I can... Where'd that piece go? I want to use it! I don't know where it went. Okay, whatever I crunched up, crushed up, I'm going to stick in there. That could possibly be... be um, a lot. I don't know. I've never done this. We're going to use it with gum arabic and we're going to paint our moons. I'm going to cover, finding the little spot. There we go. With these little things, they usually leave little air pockets and that's what I'm doing and I'm crushing down. It's not ruining the paints in any way so that I can get some pigment out. I'm pulling colors that I think I would really like on my moons. So I'm looking for the little pocket. Like I said, it usually leaves one somewhere. This one did doesn't have a pocket, so I'm going to some water in it. And let it sit until I get some color out of that. I'm going to keep the lid together. From my understanding you can do this as well because I did a lot of research on how to use gum arabic. Janet sent me the gum arabic and when I asked her for it I didn't use it right away so now I forgot what I wanted it for. Most likely she will remember. This is a powder. Oh, I guess you want to go in there so we're going to put you in there. Let's see what kind of powder this is. Jaquard products. From my understanding you can use um, eyeshadows as well and mix with gum arabic and make your own watercolor in a permanent way because gum arabic is a binder I have some early time today because George is putting in as much overtime as possible. Um, my mom's floor in her restroom needs repair. Her toilet rocks back and forth and if you guys have been here with me, you guys would know that my mom has breast cancer and she'll be having surgery soon and uh, I would I hate to think that she is using a restroom where the toilet the, um, I'll get the um, I'll get the right words out in a second uh, what are these gliding waxes 
the foundation that's holding her toilet is rotted. So she needs a new foundation built under her rest, at least the partial part in of her toll underneath her toilet. At least that. So that she can sit on her toilet without rocking back and forth. Um, we'll do that ourselves, George and myself, but we need the funds. And um, that's why he's working overtime. Not to say that we don't need the funds for other things. We definitely do, 100%. But my mom deserves to have a toilet that doesn't rock in her foundation of her t restroom not to be rotting and falling she doesn't even have a doorknob to top it all off so we'll do that too I probably should do a whole video on pre-preparing because this is taking a while how about we just start working with what we have and if we need more we'll work on more or I'll make more off camera Let's do that. So I've never used this stuff. Don't know how much it is. Let's make ourselves colors. And from my understanding, I can leave them in these pots. And some people on YouTube, you can look this up. Some people leave or actually add honey and glycerin. I don't know what the purpose is to do that. Whoops, that's a bit much. It's okay. We'll figure this all out. Yeah, supposedly I can leave these here. A bit too much. I don't know what that wax is going to do. I just did it for... I don't know, to see what happens. So let's mix this up. And I heard all of you guys loud and clear about my nails. Thanks for all the tips. I don't think I will take the time to do a lot of it because I'm just going to ruin my nails anyways. Like yesterday I washed up the restroom really, really good. Bleach and everything. So my nails no longer have any paint except for one finger. And I had to cut them all down. because I destroyed them while I was cleaning. And I know there's gloves and all that stuff. But I just don't have the time for stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my postcards and for Patreons, I, I know, I know, I owe you guys a load of cards. Oh, that looks really pretty. Can you guys see that? That's going to be gorgeous. Let's rub it on the back side. So yeah, George won't get home till 9 o'clock tonight. Remember, these videos are recorded sometimes weeks ahead, sometimes two days ahead. I don't know what smells good, if it's the powders or gum arabic, but it smells pretty pretty good. That's Pixie. She sounds like a robot dog. Pixie, can you stop already? You, you said enough. I think you got your point across. Really, Pico? 
you're probably barking at a leaf blowing around in the yard. Huh, Pico? This whole prep is taking a while, and I apologize. I think I might just speed through a lot of this. Okay, Pico, go park, go park, go bark in the living room. Honey got a new litter. Jackie's working and she, Jackie is working and she bought her cat a new litter. And we cleaned up the old one and put it on the curb just in case somebody needs it. Well, I mixed the purple and the green. And came out with this funky color. Plus, I didn't even clean my brush in between. So we have this color here, which, who knows, it might work out. Might even need to add loads more pigment. Now, this is a wax. Why did I stick a wax in here? Just because I could. Just to see what happens. Something smells good and I have a feeling it's the wax because that's the closest I have to my nose right now. Could have been just silly to use the wax. That's okay. See that little hole right there? I'll move this around. Let's see. In there. No, I doubt you can see that. There you go. That's what I'm working with. See the next video in a few days. I'm going to um, link everything up there. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
see the next video in a few days. I'm going to um, link everything up there. I'll see you guys in a little bit.